if you want to um if you want to have like a relationship or a friendship don't start that relationship or friendship with problems don't tell people your problems because and they are not your therapist that's not the way to make a friend or a relationship that's not the way to get a relationship because if you start a relationship or a friendship by telling your problems that is one of the ways that you will attract a narcissist because people with problems the, yeah abusive people they like people like that because you are already broken by your problems and they just want to finish you and they just want to be one more problem on top of your other problems mm -hmm. and most of the time sorry most of the time people mix up two words i just want to give a little bit and relationship and friendship are different things like relationship is somebody that you want to have sex with somebody that you want to marry or somebody that you want to have children with somebody that you want to build your future with and friendship is just completely the opposite of that friendship is like you don't want to have sex with this person you don't want to have children with this person you don't want to build anything with this person or maybe you might have a business together with a friend or something but you it's not physical it's just a, a friendship it's just symbol most of the time females they have female friend or males they have female male friend so it's just like just normal friend and a relationship is like when you are having sex and children and future and marriage with this person so I just wanted to say that one of the boundaries that you can build for your life is don't tell people your problems, especially if they are a new a stranger that you met. Don't start the conversation with your problems. Keep your problems for later tell this person your problems after like several months or several years tell them your problems but don't tell them your problems from the very first whether they are a friend or a relationship because you will attract narcissists that way if you are starting in any conversation with your problems and if you are talking about your problems always you are going to attract a uh, abuser and you are going to attract a narcissist so keep your problems private and tell your problems to a person that you are sure and that they are not abuser a person that you really make sure that they are not um, toxic that they are not uh, negative you know and but until then just keep your problems private and keep them for later not for the yeah don't start your problems in every five minutes when you tell a narcissist or a psychopath or a sociopath about your problems the first thing that they will be thinking about is that they will be like okay and if you have been abused in the past and you tell them this they're gonna start thinking like okay abuse is not new to you so that means if i abuse you it's not going to shock you and they will feel like you are giving them a permission to abuse you uh, that, that's what they feel when you are telling them ab about your problems because you are letting them know that you are already broken and abused by someone else that means they have to finish the work the job 
And so it, it tells them like you are giving them a permission to abuse you. It lets them know that you are not new to the game, that you have already experienced some narcissism in the past. And it, it makes them feel like you are a customer already to the abuse. So they will be like, I can be one of the people that have abused you in your life. And I would like to be the one that did it the best. That's how they think. So that's why you don't have to discuss your problems with friends or relationship. Discuss your problems with your, maybe with your therapist or with your psychiatrist or with your doctor. Discuss your problems with somebody professional that can give you a solution instead of using your problems as a conversation. Don't make your problems a conversation. If you want to talk about something, focus on some other topics. Leave your problems out of the conversation. And even though I make videos, I am just like any other human being. I advise myself always and I ask myself always, what is the best thing to do to stay away from narcissists because I don't want to attract any more narcissists in my life because in the past I married a narcissist one time and I even have a son with her and I have like several narcissist friends in the past and some of them I already go no contact with them for months or years so I'm getting rid of a lot of narcissistic friends like full-blown narcissists and as a friend you know and i knew them for years so what i'm saying is that me myself as a person i always think about how can i really build boundaries and not attract narcissists at all and one of the ways i think to do that is to stop talking about your problems to everybody especially new people like new strangers when you are trying to make a friend or when you are trying to get a relationship don't tell this person at least for one year about your problems because they are going to use your problems against you and don't be that person who always whining and crying and complaining a person who is always in pain that's not cool so don't talk about problems always and just focus on other things but tell your problems to this person after you make sure that the person is healthy that they are not a psychopath or a narcissist or whatever and but don't tell people your problems whether you are in a relationship with them or friendship with them don't tell them your problems at least for one year. Then after you make sure that they're a good person, then maybe you can start. That's one thing. That's one big boundary that you can do to really protect yourself. Don't tell anybody your problems. Stop talking about your problems. That's one big boundary. And that's a way to not attract narcissists anymore in your life. Isn't that a good idea? One other thing, this is not important, but I just want to share this. One other thing that I understand when I was with a narcissist friend or relationship, when you tell them your problems and narcissists they are not gonna just sit there and listen to you for hours about your problems because they don't like because first of all they don't care about your problems and they are going to be basically a bigger problem than all the other problems you are talking about and they know that they are coming for you and they are just they themselves are a problem so and they are not, narcissists are not therapeutic. They are not going to sit there and listen to your problems and talk to you softly. 
they are not going to do it. What I experienced from narcissists, friends and relationship is that they will come up, they can't tell you to shut up. So they will come up with a solution right away. And that's a way to shut you up because they don't want to listen to your problems for a long time. They can't. So what they will do is that they will come up with a solution, especially my narcissist friends used to do this. They will come up with a solution very quickly. When you start telling them about the problems, in few minutes, they will come up with a solution right away and tell you, this is the solution to this problem. And that's it. And that's a way to just shut you up. They just want to tell you, shut up. I don't care about it. That's what they want to tell you. But they can't do that because if they do that, then they will get in trouble, you know. So they come up with solution very quickly because they can't tolerate listening to your business for that long. They, because deep down, they know they don't care about you. And they can't even care because it's one of the hard things. They can't do it. Because they are unkind, they are cruel. So what they will do is that they will shut you up right away by coming with a solution. And when they come up with a solution, it's a, you have to shut up. Because the solution of the problem is this. And what else are you whining about is what they are trying to say. But you know what? Sometimes we as a healthy people, normal people, empaths, we don't want a solution. What we want is just to vent, to just talk, and to just let it out from our chest. Talk about it. You know, sometimes talking for too long about your problems by itself is healing. It is, it's therapeutic. It feels good. But narcissists, that they can't sit there and talk about your business for that long. And that's why they come up with a solution right away. It's a way to tell you, shut the F up and let me talk about myself. And you know, when you talk about your problems, you are focusing so much on yourself. And you know, they don't want the attention on you. They want the attention on them. They have to be the center of the attention and they want the focus on them. So when they come up with a solution, they are taking the attention and the focus off of you and putting it on themselves. Because I remember when I have issues at work and I go back to my narcissist relationship and I start telling her about my problems, she used to come up with other problems like jealousy with a, about a woman that she was jealous about. And I was like, why are we even talking about that right now? Can we talk about that some other time? Because I got into some drama with a co-worker and I want to tell her about that. And she don't have time for that because... And I was like, when is this woman going to be there for me? When is she going to back me, you know? When is she going to be a shoulder to cry on for me? And... I was like that because I didn't understand narcissism. They don't want the attention on you. The relationship that I was in, whenever I talk about my work or the drama that happened there, she used to start about drama about our relationship, jealousy and other people. And I don't used to understand that. But what she was trying to do is that she wanted to talk about herself because narcissists, they don't want to talk about you. They want to talk about themselves. They have to put the attention and the focus on them. And they want you talking about them like more and less about you. And that's why they can't be there for you because they can't um, be therapeutic for you. They, it have to be about them always. Everything have to be about them. You and them, you and the narcissist, they want you to be busy about the narcissist business and issues only. You have to put your issues on to the side and they want you to be busy with their issues and put all of your attention and your focus on them. And you have to fix all of their problems and come up with solution and fix their problems. 
and you have to shut up about you all of your issues and your problems because they don't care anyway you know what i'm saying and th you know this used to confuse me all the time when i was in a relationship with a nurse whenever i start talking about my problems the narcissist is talking is, is starting drama about our relationship and talking about jealousy and i was like what is going on because she didn't want me to talk about my problems and my issues she wanted to focus on herself and get the attention for herself yeah and you know i'm already getting wrinkles and all that these people are very confusing they are very complicated narcissism is one of the really more most negative disorders out there and they are negative and mm, what toxic in, in a very complicated way you know for you to figure out a narcissist person and leave them alone and go and leave them and live your life you have to be very strong person only the strong survives narcissism you have to be very 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 strong you know after i get abused in a narcissistic relationship i even realized my tongue it's getting um heavier for me i can't move it faster I used to be good at talking, you know, and explaining things. But after I get into a narcissist relationship, I talked so much and I screamed so much and I shout more than I should to the point my tongue is heavier. I can't talk as fast as I used to do. I am very slower physically and mentally and everything. It, it even makes you stupid to be abused it makes you stupid really it really does i don't know how to explain these things but before the narcissistic abuse i was a smart my i used to talk faster and better but anyway